Hey guys, good morning. Good morning. We hope everyone is doing well. We hope everyone is safe and staying safe. Even though sometimes you have to do to make another choice than what your government might be telling you, you know what's safe and you know who you are. You know what your body is, what your conditions are. So you are the best person to make the choice whether something is safe or not, whether the situation is safe or not. So please guys, stay safe. However, not a doctor, <laughs> what do I know? I'm here today with Mike to share with you guys a little review of this machine. The Floorboy XL300. What this machine is hopefully gonna do for us is help us treat our wooden floor that we have here. Um, it's always a little bit of a um, kerfuffle to do this um, because, you know, especially, um, well, no, let me just start by telling you that now we live here in Amsterdam, city uh, center of Amsterdam. So, of course, in like in every big city, the apartments tend to be smaller. So, so um, that's what we have here. Uh, and we have this wooden floor, as you can see. To do that while you're living in the same place, I mean, not, a, not, not, not everyone can afford to go out and uh, stay in some uh, hotel while your wood is drying up and all that. So to do it while you're still um, in your home, living in your home, of course, can sometimes be a challenge. So you have to be very creative. But sometimes there are really no options when the house is, when the apartment is just too small. I mean, if you have a bigger home, you can like choose to ignore some areas for what, about 72 hours and try to live in the other areas of your home. But when your apartment is small, that is not an option. So what me and Mike have been doing is just, you know, trying to do this as fast as we can, plus throw in the mix the cats and the cats are not animals that you can tell where to stand for how long or this or that. So what we always uh, did, especially since the cats arrived, is try to do it very fast. Uh, but doing it very fast is not necessarily the best way if you really want to treat your wooden floor like in a, a very good way but we didn't know what to do so then mike stumbled on this machine mike stumbled on this machine and uh, this is a machine uh, for the smaller apartments it's always always an issue to try to rent one of these stuff because they're like a giant, as, a, as we, we say here in Holland, like a, 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 an elephant in a China, uh, how do you say that? China thing, uh, because it's too, too, too big, too rough for your wooden floor, for your little house. Um, as soon as you try to turn it around, you either end up scratching a, a door or this or that or your wall. Or... So, but now Mike found us something that's really cute and small, and especially for little apartments, people that do live small, and like to treat their wooden floor. And like I said, it's the Floor Boy X, XL300. Um, Mike just uh, got here. Maybe you can help me, Mike, decide which one is what. Along with this machine, you got these three yeah. okay, pieces. So, yeah, they say the microfiber one is for cleaning. So this one is for cleaning. Yeah. So wait, so that means that we first gonna vacuum and then clean with this? Yeah. That's, that's Okay. Yeah, you can do that. You can also use this microfiber disc just for cleaning. Okay, no, but I think... Normal cleaning. Oh, okay. Well... So, um, and, and then they tell you that the, the white uh, cloth uh, or the white disc is for um, the, the other white one. Yeah. Is for this one. To rub in the oil. Really? Yeah. You think that this one is for rubbing in the oil? Yeah. I think so too, but... Because this one, how can this rub in the oil? This is going to suck up the oil itself. No, it doesn't. The no? The fiber one is the one that absorbs things. Okay. And this doesn't absorb anything. And then the, um, the brown disc is for light sanding of the floor. So to do it in the correct order, I would say... Yeah, you always do finish with the white disc as last. Because you, you even have a green disc and a black disc, which is to really scrub the floor, you even have brushes. Okay. Uh, but we're not going to do any of that because uh, uh, the type of floor we have doesn't allow for that. 
so I uh, got the brown one as the most heavy one for our floor, yeah. uh, which we are not going to use at this time. So this is for sanding the yeah. floor. So if you would do like an optimal treatment of the wooden floor, you would vacuum it, then clean it. Yeah, or just clean it normally. Okay. Normally. Then sand it. Yeah, sand is a big word, but more or less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to give it a, you know, a word. So this is sanding, yeah, but it's, it's, not, it's not hardcore or... sanding. Yeah. yeah, if it's really scratched, and you need to create like um, a new layer to begin from as as an as a start point. In that case, I would say just clean the floor, vacuum it. Maybe you can mop it even. Then do this just to smooth it out. Then sand it a little bit if it's needed, and then the oil and then oil it in. Yeah, and with this. I have my doubts looking at these white pad. But we're going to... It, lo it does look rough. It yeah, does look rough. I think so too. To be the finishing touch, yeah. literally. I, I don't know. I think so too, but we, we can take a look and see what it... Uh, I think we only need to use the white, white microfiber one here. Yeah. For our use. And then just spray on the oil as we would normally do. Because what we would normally do is get on our knees. Yeah, get on our knees. I was just saying that, yeah. oil with a cloth and then with just the microfiber cloth. and then so, just rub it in and yeah. then s smear it how do you say that just spread smear. it out smear smear <laughs> smear <laughs> yeah but uh so maybe um because we, we we were thinking about something that would take that work from us so normally something that would substitute what we normally would do and what we normally would do is i think something like this that would substitute the cloth with the oil and then just have it have the machine rub because, it in. Yeah, what, what you normally see is when you put on the oil, yeah. um, you need, how do you say that, to polish it after you Yeah, 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 you, oil. yeah. And we never do that because you know, like, really rub it in. Right? We've gone through the entire apartment. I was just saying because... We, hands and feet to, to get the oil on. Yeah, because we need to be quick. To, yeah, to polish it no. is by hand is it's not it's not is it, it's not a i don't know it's not something you should try you, no. you just don't have you don't have the mechanics in your body to polish it like something like this hopefully would do yeah. but in every case guys especially if, unless you're a uh, professional then you shouldn't be taking advice from me <laughs> but in any case just to be sure pick a spot in a corner that's not visible and then experiment with whatever you got whatever yeah, layers you got just to, to be on the safe side yeah we're going to do that under our catty yeah. litter box as we will be showing <laughs> you and i will first put on the white disc there this one yeah which i think is too harsh for our floors i think so too i'm Look. going to put it on and see what happens all right all right <laughs> um all right but first i'm gonna vacuum the floor just to prevent any grid from scratching the floor even uh, further so that's what i'm gonna do and then we're gonna start with, uh, well, as you guys will see. I want to break free. I put the white one on the machine and I... Yeah, Mike shoved it, it on the floor back and forth. Yeah, you, you don't see any fraction. No. So see, no fraction at all. So maybe you're good to go with this one? I think so too. We yeah, need to try it under the... Um, um, how do you call it? Yeah. The cats? The, the, ro the, the little robot, yeah. And uh, see what happens. Yeah, in case if it goes wrong, then you know that your little robot or your little box is always on there. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, let's experiment. Let's take this boy for a ride. Yes, for this little experiment, we chose that corner where normally this would be standing. Let's do that, see what happens. Look, now I feel like I'm a cat under the table to give you guys a good view. So, what, spray some oil? It's not coming out. It's not spraying? <laughs> oh, well. No? No. We got this spray little bar especially for the oil, but... Yeah, we got it for oil, but now we're using it for oh, wax. Oh, there it goes, oh, there it goes, is. yeah. Okay. Alright, not too much. Isn't that too much? I think so, too. <laughs> So now we're gonna rub it up. 
Oh, rub a dub dub. Alright. First look. Let's see what it does. See what happens. Let's see. One thing I see already is that it's beautifully spread out equally. Maybe you should lean a little bit more forward, Mike. Yeah. Now it's not as jumpy. Wow, you guys, I really wasn't, ex I wasn't expecting this layer to be this soft. I mean, when you look at the structure of it, look, it looks really rough, like it's gonna scratch the floor and damage it, but it doesn't, see? Mike can see it, yeah, but you guys can, look. It's so nice and smooth. So, so far, so good. See how shining it is, guys? So Mark is just finishing the kitchen according to the steps that we just showed you. You can actually see the difference. That's the treated area, and this is not. You can see the difference. You can almost make it even the exact separation. Yeah. So now, of course, what do you tell the cat to make them stay here on this side? <laughs> There's nothing you can do, really, guys. There's nothing you can do. And we don't like to force them or, you know, hold them against their will, so. But yeah, like Luna here, she's being wise and staying in her basket a little bit. I love Luna. It is so cute. You guys have been asking about her teeth. Yes, we were actually supposed to have them removed uh, surgically, is that how you say it? Yeah. But then this corona thing happened, of course. But um, yes. We are going to make Luna get rid of her little crooked teeth. It's really it's so sad because she's already been through so much. Those of you that have been following us for a couple of years now, you guys. She already had a couple of surgeries. So I feel so bad, but must be must be done. Alright, so what we're gonna do is Mike is gonna finish the kitchen. Then we're gonna wait for at least 40 minutes, according to the instruction, 40, 50 minutes. And then we might do that soft layer just to um, kind of, uh, how do you say that? Like do a finishing rub on the surface. Missing at the point from Main Street, USA, Magic, Magic Kingdom. If you happen to be watching, your gift is here. It got a special place. So you guys are always in our thoughts. Thank you so much. We're literally surrounded by gifts from you guys. Tin and Bears. Dear friend from the past, from my family's Moroccan teapot. What else? We have these cards from Tin and Bears, Renee and Dan. So, yes, we are surrounded in these times by positive energy. And of course our cats. <laughs> so guys, I told you that we were going to wait 40 minutes, but me and Mike just agreed upon keeping that time short just because of this. I don't know if you can see it, but if you look really carefully, you see tracks like the moon, <laughs> what is it? The, the Luna module moon vehicle. That's what you see here. So just to prevent this from drying in, we're not going to wait 40 minutes, but we're gonna start um, rubbing using the, the, the white circle, the white piece, the microfiber soft piece to just rub that out, more or less. Just to, just to make sure that it's all even and no tracks are drying in. So not 40 minutes, but 20 minutes. 
And by the way, you guys, there is an instruction video that tell you what to do. So we are, we're not winging it. Mike is actually following the instructions. So guys, while waiting for the oil to dry a little bit, I just got a question from our dear friend, Yort. Yort, you were asking me, I was showing you on Instagram that I'm playing the very old vintage games. Um, and you were asking me if I'm doing it like in the case of the Jungle Book on the actual vintage console. Although I, I, I think I still have some vintage consoles uh, up in the attic, but I got this one from Mike for my birthday. It's the Retro Free Console. Guys, don't let it fool you by the look of it. Uh, this thing is amazing, it's amazing, okay? So if you love the vintage games, get this one. I love it. I still appreciate it a lot and it can take, depending on uh, how big of a memory card you insert in there, can take a lot of games. But what I would do, is, if I were you, is just keep a max of four uh, uh, to 500 games on this one. Otherwise, you're gonna be waiting an hour before you can play and that's no fun. So just something in between in this vlog while we wait for the oil to dry. And you can just use the actual controls, see? to give it a more authentic uh, feeling. And I, I, I have the Sega, the Genesis Sega control too, and the Nintendo, the Super Nintendo. And then of course, this generic uh, Retro Freak. Uh, you need an adapter though. Yeah, you do need an adapter uh, for this one. I must say, um, the, the, the actual uh, controls do work, but the one that comes with it, this generic uh, Retro Freak uh, control uh, is actually the best one. That works the best so guys I think we figured the way out to get rid of the tracks the the key is to move the machine like really slowly give it time don't just drag it from uh, right to left that's that's how to get rid of all the tracks so Mike just peel this one off this one off the one that we did the oil with and now we're doing the microfiber cloth just to smooth it out and to get rid of the tracks and we discovered that when you do this final step like really slow you get a nice um, mm -hmm. a nice surface with no tracks Guys, little something that I really need to share with you, especially if you're watching everything on your big TV and using the Apple TV. Go to this channel. We're not friends. Not, not every, you know, we have nothing to do with this channel, but it's going to give you a great tip to enjoy your Apple TV and the quality of your image on your big TV even better. Please do it. Go to this, this channel, Home Theater Engineering. Look up this video, the best Apple TV 4K setting. Trust me guys, it's gonna make a difference. If you think you figured it out, wait till you try what, what this guy is telling you. Do it. Do it, right now. <laughs> and I was watching these little thingies from a Moroccan kitchen that I will be trying later on and sharing with you. So if you're into recipes and all that, don't forget to subscribe. So guys, we're gonna wrap this up, this little video. So this is the end result. Uh, of course, you can't see what we see in reality. We see that it really did something to the floor. Like I said, just because, you know, we live here, we have to start walking on the floor at some point. But it's going to be even better if you can just give it uh, some rest and let it dry, um, you know, uh, in its own time, about 40 or, or an hour. But nevertheless, we actually see a difference. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, is it worth it? Yeah, it is worth it. Absolutely. Um the very least reason is that it takes a lot of time. Uh, it takes work off your hands, and it does, like I said, the whole thing just, just differently. I mean, it's a machine. You cannot compare a machine with manual uh, uh, things. So, 
uh, work. So yeah, absolutely worth it. And um, even more once you start doing this frequently, every now and then, keep, uh, uh, um, uh, how do you say that? I, I can't come up on the word that I'm trying to say, but keep maintaining the work on your wooden floor every now and then frequently. So yes, it was worth it. Um, we are happy with what we see. You guys can do this as an option or do your own research and see if you can come up with something that fits your needs better in your floor. So, all right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We love you. Big hug and stay safe out there in these crazy, crazy times.